Oh boy. 1997 Z3 with the 2.8 liter convertible hardtop. That's right. Maybe Piers Brosman hasn't drove this particular one, but it was still featured in the movie Golden Eye with Pierre Brosman, one of the James Bond. The 1997. What an incredible car, fellas. Believe it or not, to be the same size of a Miata, Mazda Miata, very, very close. Maybe a little bit more bulky, but that's about it. Look at the nice cut on the fender, both sides, the front. This one's got 160,000 kilometer, believe it or not, to be a two-owner vehicle, a 16-inch wheels from BMW. This brake in the front. Look at the lows, nice little loafer in the... Look at the line. Look at the line of this 97. Original paint. As you can see here, minor flaw on the letter from the sun exposure was kind of peeling off a little bit other than that the inside is impeccable the hard top feature i believe was a four thousand dollar option when purchased brand new rare brake sorry it was 17 inch wheels front and back bmw let's take a look inside red leather nice little roadster it is very low to the ground power chair manual five speed this is believe it or not a six cassette player cd a little bit of storage space between the seat nothing among us that's how you disconnect your hard top you got this clamp here you also got another clamp on the other side and funny enough you do have an all-in screw that has to be disconnect from the front so then it uh, disengage um, the hard top. Then after that, if you do have your soft top, much easier to uh, operate because you don't require any tools to open and close it. Nice and tidy little rear hand. The trunk still offers some decent space. It is low to the ground, folks. I'm telling you, it's it's uh, very low. And it's got a nice little uh, tool compartment from BMW. You can still not quite put a golf pack on, but you know you can go for a picnic and use the Roadster. And the battery is located in the back. The inside of the cabin is really tiny, but still surprisingly spacious as i'm 6'2 fully stretched and i still need to adjust the seat to get to the clutch pedal this one 160,000 kilometer that's still very low for that kind of car clean windshield nothing unusual pretty basic you got the stereo you got the heat control you do have the clock at the bottom, the AC. This one was manual five speed. E brake. The seat are still in pretty good condition. Electric window, little headlight. That's the only one you'll find. This particular one has the 2.8 liter with 190 horsepower, about 200 feet of torque. You could also have it before that with the 1.9 and the M series was coming up with a pretty interesting 3 liter producing a little bit more than 240, uh, sorry, 230 horsepower. That was quite quick. The only aftermarket parts on this particular one is the suspension, the tower strut, and the key and end filter. Clean and quiet. Six cylinder in line. That's been in multiple BMW. And look at the front end of this car. Classic car. 
that's with the soft top. Very easy to install with hiding it here. When you lift it up, you do have those two clam. You open them up, open them up, and release it, and you just fold it back. That's it. This is called a wind deflector. It can be taken off, can be added. Very simple. Take off this. Take off that Allen. Remove it. And that is the final look when you have fully convertible with the extra part to hide the soft top added to the back of the seat looks really good feels amazing still got lots of curve very appealing classic car high on wheels for the love of cars